Today we're talking with Tom Drivis, the CEO of Appia Resources in Saskatchewan. And this is a company I have not covered before, so I'm, I'm very interested in finding out uh, some information. And I also have some information to impart uh, to Mr. Drivis. So, Tom, can you tell us about your company, the deposit, and why your company it should be a standout in the rare earth uh, field. At Appia, we, we're, we're excited. You know, we're a company that, based in Toronto, uh, we're uh, the last two three years we're concentrating on our project, our our, our project, the Alsys Lake project that is located in northern Saskatchewan. The the uh, the Alsys Lake project uh, has, uh, as you mentioned, um, uh, the highest Great, or it's the highest occurrence uh, uh, of rare earths in Canada, possibly in North America, and, and, and in terms of monazite, possibly in, in the world. We uh, we shown samples to a SGS uh, uh, of the pictures of the samples of monazite, and they haven't seen anything like this. They, uh -huh. And as you know, SGS has done quite a bit of work for a lot of the world um, uh, rare earth projects. Uh, so it is unique. We're getting up to 85 percent uh, uh, monazite. That's on surface, and uh, in addition to that, we're getting uh, uh, so we're getting up to 50 percent total rare earth. They 49 percent uh, rare earth, uh, uh, rare earths over a few meters. It's not just uh, grab samples. We're not talking about grab samples. This is a uh, uh, we got uh, six or seven zones right on surface, and then and then with some drilling that we did, we we hit some blind zone surface, and uh, and it uh, it is uh, quite exciting. In addition to that, is we when we looked at uh, uh, when we got involved with this property, I staked it, uh, and um, uh, the the a uh, few years ago when rare earths were basically again in in high demand. The Saskatchewan government geologists uh, uh, went and looked at all the projects, rare earth projects in Saskatchewan, and, and, and the Alsace Lake project came out as, as number one from some old trenches. They were getting up to 27 percent uh, uh, rare earths, basically, on, and, and, they, and then they went back the, the following year, and, and, uh, and then we start doing exploration, and as I mentioned, we're getting up to uh, 39, uh, 50, uh, 50, uh, sorry, 49 percent uh, total rare earths. Let, no. let me just make a point here for our viewers, Tom. Uh, let's say that the highest grade I ever heard of in my life as monazite was at Mount Weld, Australia, a large deposit, which is something I believe uh, 12 or 15 percent or closer to 12. The, the vastnesite deposit at Mountain Pass is six and a half or seven percent. You're talking about some, some very seriously high grade stuff. Now, the issue will be, of course, how much of it is there. For, for example, let, let me say let me say one more thing. The highest grade deposit I know of of rare earths on this planet is in the nation of Burundi, and it's a company called Rainbow Rare is developing it. it it's they actually send out 50% concentrate, which is not which is done mechanically, but the point is it's a very small deposit with a very short mine life. Now. You need to prove the extent of your deposit and, and of course, and the size of the resource, the reserve, inferred and indicated, et cetera. And where are you on that and what do you need to go forward? We're, we're convinced that you've got a fantastic deposit, but we need to know how big it is. And the stuff on the surface is fabulous because it's obviously very easy to get at. I mean, in a, I'd like you to talk about what you need to prove that deposit, and then we're going to get into uh, another uh, big plus I understand you have with processing. We have been exploring there for the last two, three years. Like last, we have two years of summer exploration, uh, basically. The first year we had to establish a uh, camp, and, and we did some, lim uh, some stripping and limited exploration mm -hmm. and, and some drilling. Last year was the, uh, a year that we did, uh, uh, did about 40 drill holes. And uh, uh, the we're 
we're excited again what from what we see now it's a large property we have 35,000 acres up there we only looked at a very small area and and we've got other areas that that, that have a lot of potential um, so so yes the 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 question to answer is how much is there, or at least an initial resource, uh, Jack, because it's going to take a, a lot of years to start, you know, to sort of explore the whole property right. and the whole project. But we want to get it to the point where we want to go back this year and we have an active program, uh, drilling and exploration program, to see if we can really bring our first resource and 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 basically uh, put a PEA and and then and then put some numbers, a pen and pencil, and come up with the um, uh, with a, sort of an initial resource. So okay. uh, we definitely need some more drilling. Now, what we've done so far is we've got, as I mentioned, we've got six or seven different uh, zones on surface. We have, uh, we drilled very short holes down to 50 meters only. And we, we hit the uh, subsurface last year, basically, we, we hit a, a zone that was running um, uh, roughly 16, uh, 15 meters, about 16% total rare earths. And within that was 3.7 meters of 49% total rare earths. The, the other crucial uh, uh, thing here is the mix of rare earths. We've got a quarter of our, of our total rare earths are critical rare earths, neodymium, chrysodymium, and, uh, which is uh, needed for the, for the uh, um, uh, magnets and all this. So in addition to that, before we, Apia got really excited about, because, uh, about this project, because we know, we, uh, we know there's a lot of rare earth projects. It's just that, you know, the, the mineralogy is very important. So we, we, before we even started two years ago uh, to get really excited about this, we did uh, mineralogy studies at the University in, in, in Saskatchewan and, and University of Toronto. And we were surprised, surprised to find out that all our earths are contained within monazite, and it's, high, it's coarse grain monazite. And as you know, uh, the process of extracting rare earths from monazite is well known. So, so we've got a, uh, we've, you know, not only we've got high grade, but we've got the, the, the right mix of rare earths. And we do also have the, the uh, coarse grain and, and, and all in, in monazite. So, so that's sort of exciting. So yes, we're gonna, we're gonna, we, what we want to do is, uh, we want to jumpstart. Uh, we want to basically go in and hit it really hard with exploration and drilling to see if we can really come up with the, with an initial resource. Okay, the, it, you know, the University of Toronto is probably the outstanding R, rare earth R and D uh, place in in Canada for certain, probably in North America, in my opinion, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I also understand that Saskatchewan Research Council already has in place a, a, a solvent extraction system, pilot plant size, built for them by ex-Chinese uh, scientists and engineers, which you have, which has looked at your material and believes they can run it. Uh, is this correct? Yes, it is correct. Uh, so the uh, SRC, the Saskatchewan Research Council, basically is doing all our uh, saying. Uh -huh. And and they've looked at our uh, deposit, and over the years they have they have a, a they have a plan a pilot plan a two thousand ton a year pilot plan that is available. Uh, uh -huh. They they did quite a bit of uh, uh, box samples and, and sampling for other companies in in the past for rare earths. So uh -huh. it, it is in place, and they also have a couple of uh, uh, Chinese. Uh, uh, engineers or, or metallurgists from China that worked in, in deposit in China that are working with the with SRC, so so it is unique uh, for yes. and it's a big advantage for Apia because we it, it's right in Saskatchewan and 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 the not in addition in addition to that we have this this potential of a, of a, a huge uh, high grade uh, uh, rare earth source. We, their expertise are there to sort of uh, you know to uh, process to process. Well, I, my understanding is that the third uh, item on your charm bracelet is the fact that Saskatchewan, being Canada's uh, premier producer of uranium, says that the normal thorium and uranium in the monazite won't be a problem up there because it'll be handled by the uranium industry of Saskatchewan. It'll be disposed of properly or sold if you want. The, the location of, of the where the deposit is is, is crucial. Okay, first of yes. all, uh, uh, Saskatchewan is one of the you know within the 
three top uh, world uh, uh, rated world uh, mining jurisdiction or exploration yes. jurisdiction. Yes. So that that's good, uh, and they're also the the they're producing 20% uranium, uh, uranium, like they've got high grade uranium. So they're very familiar with radioactivity and, and, and they can handle that. SRC has a license to handle radioactive, radioactive material or radioactivity. Uh, and uh, so we're, we're, we're lacking in that respect that the, the, the deposit is located in, 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 uh, in a province that is pro mining. Uh, they understand, uh, 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 uranium and thorium and, and, and uh, so that's a big plus uh, for us uh, so we feel that uh, you know if, if this deposit was located in another jurisdiction you know it, 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 you know it could be questionable I, I, I agree and, and I, I can tell you that th this sounds to me like everything that can go right you, you know when Molly Corp got started their, their biggest problem was how do they how do they process the material at the very beginning, way long ago before Tracy was born, they 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 could not figure it out. So they had to go through dec decades of building a solvent extraction plant. Now you've got a great deposit, you've got technology right there, and you've got the pro the biggest problem handled. The biggest problem for any monazite mining is that radioactivity, what do you do with it? So I'm gonna guess, Tom, that you only have one problem remaining, and that is you need to raise capital to move this, this project forward. So uh, is that correct? This is correct, basically. We, we, and, and we, because of the timing, you know, like the, the, the interest of, of developing um, uh, sources of supply of, of rare earth supplies outside of, of China, yes. It's now we, we don't want to take a long time to right. take a long time to develop this. So, uh, Jack, yes, the key is to raise enough money to uh, do some serious work here uh, to uh, uh, get this project to a development stage. Uh, now, because of the uniqueness of the deposit, there's a lot of interest from uh, not only from industry, but also from a, from academia from the academia where they uh, there are we're doing quite a few studies right now in universities here in Canada in the US we're you know potentially uh, and, and and also in Europe uh, that we have some two or three PhD students doing studies and, and try, we're trying to understand the the, the nature and the, the genesis of the deposit and, and all this but again the key is we we need to raise enough uh, uh, capital to get uh, to a, a first resource and and then move it to yes. the uh, the next level. On your website, is there a, a plan? Uh, how much money you need? Target production, things like that. Yet, not not in terms of uh, uh, how much uh, 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 in terms of a detailed plan of production because we don't want we want to get to a resource and we want to do a PA. But because of the grades. We don't need uh, millions and millions of tons uh, right. or right. something like this. Yeah. Like we'll be, we'll be happy with 100,000 tons or 200,000 tons on the initial resource. Um, yeah, just just for uh, uh, for uh, for people to understand where we're looking at a, a ton of of of, um, of our ore at at Wilson Zone, we're looking at sort of eight, ten percent. I'm not talking about 30 and 40 and 50 yeah, percent. Right. Just uh, nine, ten percent. Will will contain about a uh, uh, ninety to hundred uh, kilos of, of total rare earths. Of of that, twenty five kilos would be uh, basically critical rare earths. So right. so you know what the economics are. You know, it's just uh, it, it, it's uh, super. Uh, you know, it looks you know very wow. very exciting. You you would then be out you would be out producing by tonnage ratio, Molecor. and quite frankly, you would. Uh, you're doing a little better than than Mountain Pass. And, and I, look, Tom, I wish you all all the luck, and I'm going to follow this uh, because, quite frankly, I think you've got. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be caught out here as as a rating scale, but you're in the top one or two in North America, in my opinion, of deposits. And if it proves out to be of the right size, because we know the processing chemistry is well known. And you've got a winner. 
a real winner. And thank you very much for. Thank you so much, Chuck. We're very excited, and thank you for 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 your time.